<laughs> hey, wild man. Hey, wild man. Good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Deb. Happy Labor Day to everybody. Hello, Noor. I am here with Nabisco, and you can see Mrs. They've been chasing each other up and down their enclosures, chirping, and good morning, Nicole. Hi, Susan. So I figured this morning I would check in with a few of the cats that we moved around uh, late last week that aren't on cameras. So we'll make our way out to see Maya on Funcation as well. She has been having an amazing time. I've seen her full-fledged sprinting and running from end to end. She's been playing with all of her toys. Hi, Lori. Hello, Mary. So I was just sitting here watching Mrs. and Nabisco chasing each other around. Hey, bud bud. What are you doing? <laughs> are you guys making so many noises? Hi, Mrs. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Lisa. It's awfully bright right here, too, so I mean, maybe I can convince them to come down in the shady area. <laughs> Good morning, Cheryl. Maybe not. You can see them just back and forth, back and forth. Biscuit. Uh, Nancy, I'm not sure why you can't hear me. Does everybody else hear me? Good morning, Sonia. Hello, Lee. Just checking in on Nabisco. He's got this brand new enclosure where he lives next door to Mrs. And also next door to Simba. He's really taken to that den. He really likes the den. Hi, Mirza. Good morning. Yep, Deb, my golf cart is fixed. Although I will say it's running quite a bit slower than it was, but it's running, so I'm gonna take what I can get. Okay, good, thank you, Deb. Well, Biscuit, he's like, um, <laughs> he really does love that den. Let's see, oh, oh no. Well, my golf cart's fixed, but my stabilizer's being crazy. Try that again. Good morning, Jen. All right, let's try that again. Let's go back to Mrs. for a second. Hi. Hi, my little lady. Where'd that crazy biscuit go? Where did that crazy biscuit go? You like having him back as a neighbor? Yeah, Nabisco's doing really well, Jenna. Um, he was awfully bored in that recovery cage, so I was glad to see him come out. <gasps> What's going on? Yeah. You're making so many cute noises today. Happy Labor Day, Rachel. Yep, the cats don't know holidays, so we are here every day, no matter what. Holidays are actually pretty good for the cats here because so many people do have time off of work and a lot of our volunteers come out and help in the morning. Look at that twitchy tail. This is Mrs. Claus. Oh, biscuit came back out. What you doing, sir? Hi. What you doing? quite the busybody, but at least he's getting a lot of activity and stimulation out here. Well, thank you, Rachel, for your donation. Yeah, they both seem to be happy to be neighbors, and we don't have to worry about them fighting or hurting each other. They can still communicate. So she's marking the <laughs> side of the fence. What you doing, rotten boy? Well, while we're back here, we can check in on Simba. 
Simba's bound to be also very entertained by his neighbors. Yep, he's perched up here watching Mrs. Hi, buddy. Meow. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. This is Simba. <laughs> he is one of our newest residents. Yeah, a lot of people say if they have trouble hearing on these lives that you're better off using headphones. We don't scream around the cats because we want the cats to be happy and not frightened. <laughs> so. so this is Simba. You can see he's at a really good weight now. He was quite, quite chubby when he first came in. He loves his trees to scratch on. Simba is a Savannah. I believe his URL is actually Simba hyphen the hyphen Savannah. You might want to double check me on that. You can see Biscuit up on top of his den in the background. So these guys really seem to like being neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> is that a yes or a no? Oh no, he doesn't look like a house cat. He looks like an African serval only thing house cat about him is pretty much his eyes and his ears are slightly smaller than a serval would be. Savannas are when people try to take a wild cat like a serval and breed it with a domestic cat. They want the exotic look of a um, you know wild cat but they want the temperament of a domestic and it usually comes out the opposite. You love eating your grass. This is shadow behind me. <laughs> so this little trio seems to be pretty happy. They're all very fascinated with each other. Nancy, this is Simba. Several people have already posted the URL and the name. Simba Savannah. Everybody's in direct sunlight, so it's a little bit hard to see them. So cute. So cute. Let's get a little shot of Nabisco on top of his favorite den. Hi. Just enjoying the sunshine. I was going to see if Ariel was out. She's kind of one of our more elusive cats. But I don't see her. Twitchy tail. Um, Jenna, this is a lot of the tall grass that you see here is like saw grass and other variations and they just love chewing on it. Riza loves chewing on it. Beecher's notorious for eating it. Simba loves his. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I've got another bobcat over here. Sue and Lakota are back here in the center. There's Sue right there. It's a Sue Bobcat. Sue! Sue is the female and she's smaller. She's got a bright pink nose and she also always has kind of that little schnurl lip is what I call it. <laughs> At least one side of her lip is up. And then Lakota, they're currently separated because it's almost breakfast time. Today is ivermectin. So it takes a little bit longer to get their food prepared. Here's Lakota. Be prepared. He'll most likely bark at me. Hi! Lakota is a little bit larger, darker brown, a more spotted um, coat pattern. Yes, you got a lot to say today. Yeah, these two are, are warming up to certain people. Uh, for the most part, they're still very shy, elusive. They're, he's a lot more intense. He'll absolutely charge you, but she kind of keeps her distance. And they're really still small and skinny and a little bit of picky eaters. They've gotten a lot better, but that's also why they're in this two by four wire.
Well, I left my cart over here. So let's walk over. Let's go say hi to Pharaoh real quick, just in case we get a glimpse of Ariel. This is Ariel's enclosure. She's not on top of her platform like usual, so there was a chance she's down on the ground somewhere, but she's probably in that big den. Nope. Hi, buddy. This is Pharaoh. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Pharaoh knows his routine, so he hangs out in lockout all morning waiting on breakfast. That's him determining that I don't have food. No food. The next person you see will have food. And the official snub. Turn in your back. Pharaoh is a white African serval. The white coat is caused through inbreeding. That's a trait called leucism. So he should actually look a little bit more like what Simba's coat pattern looked like. Yeah, Genis, uh, Tonga, and Pharaoh were brothers. Thank you, Beth, for your donation. We really appreciate that. We're a nonprofit sanctuary, so we support the cats by amazing donors like you guys. Also through our guided ticket sales, as well as our merchandise that we sell online and in our gift, gift shop. Oh, there's Ariel. I don't know if she'll let us see her. Hi, baby girl. Ariel, hi. Nope. <laughs> Here she goes. Hi, little lady. Janet, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And you can learn all about how to volunteer or become an intern here at bigcatrescue.org slash get hyphen involved. I was hoping she'd pop back around the other side. Well, there was your glimpse of Ariel. Thank you, Valerie, for your donation. Let's go say hi to Nala. Nala is a really great example of what Pharaoh and Tonga technically should have looked like. She's also such a beautiful serval. Nala! Hi, baby girl! What you doing, lady? Yeah, hi. So this is Nala, and she is an African serval. Hi, beautiful. What you playing with? A lizard? So you getting a lizard? <sighs> She's trying to anyway. She'll probably get it. African servals are one of the most skilled hunters. Yep, she got it, so I'm going to have to document that. <laughs> she either got it or she got a mouthful of leaves, I can't really tell. So that's something that us keepers are constantly doing, is observing the cat and seeing things that they're getting into, and then we document it on their chart, and that way the vet group always knows what's going on with them. <laughs> yeah, just a little pre-breakfast snack. <laughs> and you can imagine what luck that was that we actually just witnessed that, because it probably happens constantly, especially with the servals. Especially those servals. Silly, silly. But that's a perfect example of why they get wormed um, and flea treatments monthly and quarterly. You are so silly. <laughs> Diane, yeah, Mark, Mark's my husband. He's also a senior keeper out here. And I'm off on Fridays and Saturdays usually. And they moved Hoover on Friday. And Hoover's actually my husband's favorite cat. So that was very awesome that he got to help with that. But at one point in time, Carol handed him the stabilizer and the live feed. <laughs> so he wound up doing what I usually do. But yeah, it was a good, good thing. I was actually on that feed in the comments from home, but <laughs> yeah, Nala is actually the one. Um, 
that had broken her leg. That was actually around the time that I started here. She spent quite a long time in the hospital recovering. So we'll walk back through here, back up to my cart. Maybe we'll get to say hello to Smalls real quick. And then I wanted to make sure we walked out to see Maya on Funcation. Which way is fastest? Let's go this way. Let's see where that small girl is. There she is. She's making those squeaky noises. Squeak toy. Are you ready for breakfast? I didn't bring breakfast. I'm sorry. Thanks for posting all those sites, Deb. Yep, we currently sell merchandise on three different um, sites. BigCatRescue.biz is Jamie's Shopify store, and all the profits for that go straight to the cats. Lady! The CatRescue.biz site is Carol's Shopify store. And the proceeds from that actually help us with legislation, making better laws for these cats. And then our Amazon store, which is fairly new, um, is what I'm trying to help promote and grow. And you can do amazon.com slash bigcatrescue to find all of that merchandise. Uh, Hoover moved to Tiger Lake, which is where um, what you doing? You rooming? Um, it's where Andy Tiger was living. What are you doing? Crazy lady. Yep, Nora Jamie's one of the busiest people on property, but she makes and designs and runs that store and just have to kind of throw the ideas out there and wait for when she's got time to do it. All right, little lady. So let's hop on my cart here. <clears throat> and let's go say hi to Maya. We had some fun with the bobcats and some hybrids. mentioning that Beth. Yep, if you do shop on Amazon, please shop smile.amazon.com. It's exactly the same as amazon.com. You can select Big Cat Rescue as your charity and then 0.5% of your purchase actually comes to Big Cat Rescue. So it costs you nothing extra and it actually totaled $89,000 in the last year for the cats, which is amazing. You know who we're about to pass that I want to make sure you guys see is doing very well and is very happy is Zimba. Hi Zimba! So Zimba moved over to Tonga's enclosure last week, didn't you? And he is absolutely loving it. He instantly knew where Lockout was and where he was going to get breakfast. Yeah. He's starting to talk. Yeah. Hi, Bella. Good morning. Where are you going? He sees Rich, who is eating center route. You're not part of center route anymore. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Ow. You hear him calling for you? <laughs> Ow. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ow. So, um, Ow. Master Keeper Rich has Zimba as. Um, an operant cat, which is a training program we do here. So he's very excited to see Rich. But he's gonna find out real quick that 
Rich was feeding Center Rail, and now that he moved, he's part of Front Rail. That's Rich calling to him. <laughs> that was adorable. I told him that he's you're feeding Center Rail, and he's now part of Front Rail. <laughs> All right, buddy, it's coming. I saw Steph, she's coming. <laughs> yeah, Bella, a lot of the servals uh, have the capability of talking. Hutch, as we know, is very talkative. Cricket is also very talkative. Um, Zimba has gotten really talkative since he moved. So sometimes, sometimes a minor change like that in their uh, location just kind of does some fun things to their personalities. I can vouch for that. When I first started as a volunteer, Breezy was very hissy and kind of grouchy little bobcat. We'll stop for Natalia since you guys saw her move home. Um, but now when Breezy moved to the cage she's in now, she is just a little sweetheart. Hi, this is Natalia. Natalia is one of our rarest cat species here. She is an Amore Leopard. She had her turn for two weeks out in the Funcation enclosure. And when we moved her home, we got um, it all cleaned up and then we put Maya Cougar out. So you can see she's on the very, very, very top of her platform. <laughs> she loves it up there. She loves it up there. She's got a great vantage point so that she can see everything all the way around her so she's got a lot of servals to look at she can also be the first one to spot the feeding cart I like seeing her up there and nice and relaxed versus when she's down on the ground pacing and hissing <laughs> good morning Karen if you guys are just joining this is Natalia she's in a more leopard here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa Florida the calling you hear in the background now is Hutch. All right, let's go see Miss Maya. I always set out to go see one cat and then I get distracted by the beauty of someone else. So get back on the mission here. You see Hutch on his platform back. Thank you so much. Those birthday fundraisers are amazing. You guys have earned so much money for the cats. It's just absolutely incredible. Really, really appreciate it. Hi, lady. Hi. Hi, baby girl. This is Maya. Maya is a cougar. You can also call her a mountain lion or a puma or a catamount. There are tons and tons of names for a cougar. It all varies on what region that they're located as to what the locals would call them. Here in Florida, we call them Florida Panthers. Hi, sweet girl. So Maya is currently in Funcation. Thank you, Richard, for your donation. Where are you walking to? So she gets 22,000 square feet see this whole enclosure it goes really really far back there she gets to be out here for two weeks oh I can't feed you in that one sweet pea why don't you come around we have seen her out here running full speed we have seen her playing with her toys and her ball hi lady can you hear her purring the cougar is the largest cat that can still purr Everything larger than that is more of a roar or a sawing noise. What you doing? Such a sweet girl. But very quick. Very quick and sneaky. Yeah. So this is the point where a lot of people want to point out that, oh, she looks like she wants you to pet her or look how sweet she's being. What she's really doing is kind of marking her boundary, her territory. 
Cats have tons of glands all over their body, but especially their uh, face and feet. So all that rubbing is her marking her territory. They also spray urine for that. She has just been having such a good time. Yeah. You know. She is very beautiful. Oh, flop. She's very rolly too. It's very cute. leaving us. Can we hear you purring? I change my location. Hi. Um, so Funcation is actually fully roofed. Um, and that's because it's for the lesser cats. So leopards and smaller come out here um, and they are required to have a roof. It has a smaller section all the way in the very, very back um, that's a little bit of a lower roof and it's got more dens, more hiding areas and a lot of our smaller cats, especially the bobcats that come out here on Funcation, really prefer to be as far back there as they can. Uh, it's a little bit too wide open for some of the smaller cats, so they've got those options in the back. I don't recall her exact birth date. You'd have to look on her profile, bigcatrescue.org slash Maya, M-A-Y-A. Yeah, Seth is still getting used to having a new neighbor. But it doesn't sound too aggressive or too, you know, but it is establishing territory. I mean, he, he had gotten used to Andy, but he'll get used to Hoover as well. Maya was kept as a pet in Ohio. Ohio started changing a lot of laws after the Zanesville massacre occurred. And because of that, they finally actually started enforcing laws as well. Melanie, you absolutely can pick a specific cat to sponsor. Um, if you go to bigcatrescue.biz, that's B-I-Z, on the home page there will be a link that shows um, sponsor a cat. And from there you can pick the species and then you can pick the cat. Correct. Yeah, Mac and Riza have actually both been out here on Funcation a couple of times since it's been built, but we haven't been making them go. It, it takes a lot of coaxing for them, and they, they seem happier to just stay in their enclosures. Um, they do have severe arthritis. They're well over 20 years old, so. Lots of grooming happening today. Give you a little look at Beecher over there on top of his den. You can stay right there. You just keep turning your back to me and I can't see you. Uh, Melanie, we have um, several people that actually have sponsored every single cat, but it, you can do it in any increment, so there's different price levels for it. Um, I would say our newest cats probably need the most sponsors or our oldest cats need the most sponsors because yeah, because the new ones obviously are brand new, so they don't have as many yet. And the older ones tend to be the more expensive cats to care for due to medical care, so. I know. Well, Hoover's always been a picky, a picky eater, a picky cat to begin with. Yeah. I know. You're next. You're next. I hear the cart. So if you guys are just joining, this is Maya at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We started out with Nabisco and Mrs. Claus and Simba. I've seen quite a few in that section. So we also saw Sue and Lakota today. And a little glimpse at Ariel. <laughs> now she can see that there's feeders in the area. 
We got a little bit later of a start today's ivermectin. Maya, I wanted to show you guys Maya. She doesn't have a camera on her, but she has just been doing some of the cutest things. Running full speed back and forth, playing with her toys. Kitten Karma texted me this morning and said, if you go live, go to Maya. She's playing with her ball right now and it's so cute. <laughs> Naturally, by the time I got out here, she wasn't, but I love hearing those stories. Yeah, our, our live feeds always automatically post on our Facebook page as well as our Wildcat Walkabout show page. And then we also add them to our Daily Cat, uh, Daily Big Cat YouTube page. So you'll never miss a live feed if you're following pretty much any of those three. All right. Was Miss Maya. So I think we will wrap this feed up here in a second. But let's go have a look at Manny. Manny will be our last cat today. Um, I am not a part of like the vet emails or the updates on the medications. I'm also not a meds keeper at this point. So to be honest, I haven't heard uh, whether Nabisco's on any kind of new medicines or not. Here's Mr. Sneaky. We'll hang out with him for a few minutes. You guys all have a great Labor Day. And we will wrap this up with Mr. Manny. So I, I do want to thank everybody who donated today. Everybody who shared this live feed. Here's that sneaky boy. <laughs> Anytime you guys share this, it helps us reach other people we might not reach otherwise. And here, Rise is making a cameo in the background. Oh, thank you. That must be Carol, I think, in the feed as Big Cat Rescue. That helps a lot. And there he goes. He's like, uh, I eat over here. So Manny is a jaguar. He's our only jaguar at the sanctuary. He is 100% food motivated. Right now he's trying to figure out at the best angle he can sneak up on me. because then he can sneak around the platform at me. While we're over here, I always do this. I'm like, there's one more cat. <coughs> Hi, lady. <coughs> Hi. Your neighbor had a <coughs> birthday yesterday. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Riza Cougar. She's one of our oldest cats here. And when she's out, I can't, I can't not come see her. She spends a lot of time in her den, so, but she's always out in the morning for breakfast. You got a, a bag there, do you see it? Yeah, sweet girl, such a sweet girl. I know. So Matt Cougar celebrated his 22nd birthday yesterday and the whole sanctuary came out and sang happy birthday to him. That was also on a live feed, so if you missed it, you can go back and check that out as well. Riza. So sweet.
Her name is Riza. Lady. Love how she crosses her paws. Yep, she's a completely different animal when food is involved. All right, should we go back to Mr. Manny? I'm gonna go back to Mr. Manny. <laughs> Who didn't move an inch, still waiting on breakfast. Hi, gorgeous. Situated over here until he makes another lap. Maybe. Oh, he's going the long way. <laughs> oh, he can watch Maya eat from over there. What are you doing? All right, buddy, we're going to wrap this up. shadow. Are you making noise? That's the craziest thing to me is I you never really hear Manny make any type of noise. <laughs> and he does do this really cute thing where if you talk to him long enough he'll roll over on his back. Very submissive but then he chomps his jaw like he's biting the air and that's, a, that's probably the most intense sound he makes. I'm an intense guy. Now he's settling in. Yeah, they're overfeeding feeding him. I believe Manny is 11 or 12. I'm really bad at remembering those. There's just under 80, or just under 70 cats, sorry. And I've got all their dates written down, but to keep it in my mind, I just can't. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Well, like I said, if you guys are just joining, we did go live almost like an hour ago. Um, we started out with a lot of bobcats and servals. We checked in on a lot of the cats that moved last week that don't have cameras, so like Maya Cougar. Rich is coming over to feed. Now you're gonna watch Manny stalking Rich. You might be able to watch Manny eat breakfast, but the reason I hesitate to actually follow the cats and keepers while they're eating is for some reason the cats really try to scarf their food <laughs> instead of eating slowly like they should. I hate to make them feel like they're under pressure. They should get to enjoy breakfast. So that's truthfully why we don't follow all that often. So it looks like Rich went down to feed the leopard girls. Yeah, I don't want him to spaz out. So we will sign off here while he's down there feeding the girls. But thanks again to everybody who donated and shared. Make sure you go back and rewatch this. From the beginning, you'll see a lot of little cats. Mr. Intensity here. We do try to go live almost every morning on the weekdays and then occasionally for evening meds, especially on the weekends. Thank you, Deb, for helping out in the comments. So thank you guys all for joining. We'll definitely see you again soon. Everybody have a great Labor Day.